Bonjour mes amis, c'est moi, Stephanie, and thank you so much for being here and for supporting my channel by either watching, being a subscriber, or maybe becoming a subscriber. So, thanks again. We're going to move today in a nice side flow that spirals onto our hands and knees. So, lots for the hips, lots for the center. Side lying movement feels really good for me these days, so we're all gonna benefit from it. So let's go ahead and use our friend the roller as a bit of a pillow. Let's lay down over our side and kind of get that, take a moment actually to roll into your armpit a bit, back and forth into the pecs there. And then just settling in, take the, hand and just support your head. Take a moment to find the length between your bones and your tissue on especially this top hip, like an accordion. Let's flex out through that foot. And then maintain that length, yeah? Length here, length through the knee, flex out through that foot. Top hand, wherever you find most comfortable. I'm gonna start with my hand on my hip, and then we're just gonna start by pulsing the leg, and really think of it, yes, it's going up and down, of course, but also it's this scoop, it's more of a curve. Oh, excuse me. And reach. Nice pulsing breath. Point the foot, and reach. And pause at the top, flex that foot again. Oops, see how I'm slightly turned out? Let's find a little more parallel. And then little circles forward. Two, three, reverse. Heel, heel. Now toes reverse. Woo, reverse. And ooh, finish. Take a moment ah, to give a little body percussion and appreciation to that hip. Thank you, hip. Mm, and then go ahead and find that length again. Let's go ahead and release the bottom arm, reach the top arm, take a nice yawn through that top of the body. Connect however you can. Interlace, grab a wrist, bend the elbows, but let your head fall. So we are in this curve. We're gonna maintain this curve. This top leg, we're just gonna swing it up. Boop, and then oh, I gotta release. And up, soft knee, soft foot. Find that reach at the bottom. Open up the ribs, open up the side body. Two more. And, and let that go. Take another moment to yawn through the top of the body there. And then set yourself back up as before, wherever that hand wants to be. It's going to be here this time. Let's point the foot. Let's find a little bit of that reach. So heel basically in line or, or foot in line with the hip. And we're gonna make, I always think of this as, you know, like a lowercase m. So we come forward a little, loop to center, back a little, and center. Forward, and back. There might be a little bit of movement in the hips, but not too much. Yeah, it's our, our, the bones of our pelvis, of our spine, are staying nice and steady for that leg to roll in the hip. Three more, ish, and last time, and pause in center. We're gonna keep this bottom knee bent, this top leg long, and we're gonna roll over. Let's 
keep that same knee bent, keep that same leg long. Let's actually find the roller as a little bit of instability to help our stability here. And begin just with that little uh, scoop in as much as you can. And then just swing the leg. And notice I'm not, well, it looks a little different now with the belly, but I'm not uh, with my spine, yeah? So I'm just enough floating to feel my bum. And a four, three, two, and let's add that little M here and center. Really look across and I'm really crisscrossing my inner thighs. Center, see the toes and see your toes. And open and across. So there is now quite a bit of movement in the torso. Allow that to happen. And two. And one. And float to center. Woo, find that little bit of scoop in the pubic bone. Yours might look different than mine, your shape here. And then let's take that opposite arm. Hello, plant. And reach forward. Take three deep breaths. Expand into your belly. And gently hug. a little bit longer, set the hand down, tuck that back leg in, bring it in front Ooh, of the bottom knee, let that go, and slide back. Take a bit of a, a pigeon here. If, yeah, I should probably get a ball, but I'm actually feeling okay, but if you do want a prop there, go ahead and set something up. And then from here, we're just gonna gently arch forward. Gently curl as much as you can up to that swan. Reach forward. Like the roller's a big rolling pin. And reach. And up once more there. And reach. Ooh, and scoop it up. Take a moment there. Ah, and then just ease your way out. And that was one side. So, l'autre côté, the other side. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's lay over. Thank you, hips. Ah, at least that hip gets a little bit of a breather now, yeah? So let's begin, tuck up the bottom leg, lengthen that top leg, flex the foot, and really lengthen that, excuse me, that accordion in the top side of your body. Open and close the bellows. Keep, maintain that length as best as you are able, like someone is tractioning, i.e. you are tractioning your leg. Flex that foot as parallel as you can, and a little reach up. Remember, scooping out. We're making a curve in space. Set up your top hand wherever feels good for you. And point the foot and reach pinky toe to the sky. And pause, flex that foot again, wrap to parallel, and then little circles one direction. Reach through that heel, reverse. Point the foot, reverse, and Last time, reverse and four, and three, woo, and two, and one. Just reach uh, before you release. Maybe give yourself some body percussion. Again, thank you. This hip might feel completely different for me. It does. I actually feel a sensation all the way down here. Uh, 
let's yawn that side body open. Connect however you can up here. Let that head release. And then here we go. Let's swing that leg up and down. And don't overthink it. I'm allowing my hip to gently rock back because that's how I get that external rotation to feel really nice. But your leg will probably naturally do that. You just let your breath guide. Two more. Like a big gust of wind whooshes that leg up. Last time, or actually let's do one more for good measure. And release. Ooh, set your head back up, prop it, release it on that a hand, top arm, hand, wherever you want. Let's reach back out, a little bit of a lift, and then let's make that M. A little bit forward, center, a little bit back, center. Ooh, I get, to <laughs> I get to pet the plan every time. And reach, center, and forward. Pump that breath. And again, there might be a little bit of movement because our body's connected, but we're, we're really scooping up through that center to allow the ball to roll in the socket. Two more-ish. And let's pause in center. Keep this leg bent, keep this leg long. Let's roll it over <sighs> until we're here. I'm gonna move a little bit forward on my mat here. And then go ahead and just find a little bit of a scoop, ground into your armpits and just toss that leg up. <sighs> Easy neck, maybe the elbows are soft best we can, keeping that hip pointing down. A little bit of spiral in the upper inner thighs. Two, and let's add that M. Now we really allow the body to get involved. Crisscross those inner thighs. And out. And across. Just let your arms do what they need to do. Across. That feels good. And reach, at least on my belly. Hopefully for you too. Two more. Last time, reach and center. Across. Stay in center. Woo. Wrap that hip. Take the opposite arm. Reach through the fingernails forward. Connect into your center. A little bit of that armpit there, a little bit of that scoop. Three deep, expansive breaths. One more. Pick up that center, reach a little bit longer. And then take that long leg forward, across. Slide it back. I need to square myself here. And again, just notice this is a completely different hip. Get prop something if you need under that tush. And then take a moment to arch and roll forward. And I didn't say this on the first side, but I always like to do this palm. It's like Spider-Man palm. It helps stabilize the wrist actually, but also just kind of feels good. Reach through that suction cup hand. And then scoop it back up. Easy breath. And once more there. Find 
winding your way up and unwind. Ah, that's it. We did it. Both sides all the way around the hips and our center. So thank you so much for joining and I'll see you next time.